want to know how you can uplift your miserable, sad existence? There you go, the cure to depression, and I, I, I would know, okay, trust me. If there is one game in the whole wide world that will fill you up with straight up happiness and joy, it is Banjo-Kazooie. This title is such a happy, fun, exciting adventure that even after completing it about 10 times, I still get excited just talking about it. And that's not nostalgia speaking, alright? I never played this game as a small little gremlin, my first introduction introduction to Benji kazooie was around 2015 at my cousin's house on the Xbox One. It was such an inspiring and gratifying experience that a week later I went to the store to get a, a, a French copy of Rare Replay. I have no idea why it is a French copy. Like, I don't even live in hell. I've said this a couple of times at this point, but the only reason you need an Xbox these days is to play Rare Replay. This brick is just a straight up Banjo-Kazooie machine. Even after more than 20 years since it got released, it still stands the test of time as one of the greatest video games ever created. And it still feels like a lot of people just roll their eyes over it. This is not a game that just tries to imitate Mario 64 like a lot of games from this era try to do. It's a title that has a real identity that the developers put so much care and passion into that it's hard not to appreciate. Every single thing you do in this game, every place you visit, every song that plays will put the biggest smile on your face man. No matter where you go in the level there will always be something there to reward you with. The exploration of this game is so finely tuned and it flows so well that the music even changes changes with you depending on where you are on the level. It really makes it feel like this is a complete, well thought out adventure. You have a sewer level with a big metal shark you can actually get into. There is a Christmas level, a beach level with these little chests you need to jump into and a shark that chases you around with this terrifying music. Gobi's Valley is a desert level with a camel called Gobi that you need to physically abuse to water a tree. Rated E for everyone. Don't worry though. You end up doing it again like one minute later. The main goal is to collect a handful of collectibles in each world. You have Jinjos, Notes, Mumbo Tokens, Honeycombs, Extra Honeycombs, Extra Lives, Eggs, Red Feathers, Gold Feathers, Jiggies, and a handful of world specific things like these little grubs or presents. Every single one of these collectibles does something different. Notes make you open up specific doors in the hub world, Red Feathers are used to fly around, Mumbo Tokens to transform into different different animals and a pumpkin for some reason. Each collectible serves a purpose and it sounds kind of overwhelming but trust me it really isn't. They manage to puzzle everything together so seamlessly that it makes you want to keep going and going. You start to hum along that little funfair every single time you get a jiggy. You get invested in the dumb little stories that the side characters present to you. The little sounds you get every single time you pick up an item like the or the Every single time someone speaks, it, it sounds like they are choking on their own tongue. This is great, alright? I love this. You can pick up these little running shoes that makes Kazooie run faster and Banjo just holds his hands in front of his eyes. You poop out eggs to solve certain puzzles, slam Kazooie into the ground head first. It has this funny but snarky tone throughout the whole game. Banjo usually tries to stay positive and he's all about, let's do it! Let's save Tootie from the evil witch Gruntilda. And the only thing Kazooie does is... such a fun, creative adventure about a caring bear and a dipshit bird. This really is a once in a lifetime experience. A game that defined a video game genre. Rare was ahead of the curve when they were creating Banjo-Kazooie. So I'm gonna give this game a big old gold star because it, it deserves it. This game is awesome. If you haven't played it yet, I'm gonna smack you. I don't care how you do it. N64, Xbox, emulated by the stupid N64 expansion pack just just play it it's good it's really good but let's not forget about banjo tooie now uh, this game has a boss named lord who fuck fuck so uh, clearly this is superior to banjo tooie <laughs>